Hello commanders and welcome in part 2 of the chat series. Today I am going to show you how I am going to build my army. Also how I am going to build my buildings and manage my resources. I'm going to take things a little bit slower where I am going to show you all the details on how I am going to start this campaign with chat. After many of you guys is asking me how to manage the resources with chat, with chat how I am going to build my army and in which uh, order, just keep watching this episode and you will find your answer. Now, I am just going to finish my uh, west coast of Africa. My allies are going down heavily on South Africa after he took down all of Namibia. Now it's the time for dear Congo and Cameroon to take him down. And also my allies have started their campaign in Europe after Turkey. He is a very well experienced player and the highest ranked player in this game. We directly put our eyes on him and Egypt started making his naval officer and his destroyers and boom, directly we took down his capital Ankara. The plan is well built and everything is going according to the plan. Here the teammates, they are doing a pretty good job. I'm really proud that I have such followers in this type of expertise and of following orders as well. They are doing a very good work. So here I started making the strike fighters and also I'm going for the level 2 strike fighters. We have the Eastern Doctrine, the Suhoi model. Also here, the first thing I'm going to level up is my electronic city where I am going straight for the level 5 arms industry and some uh, level 4 motorized infantry. Furthermore, I'm going to build more air bases there because here in this series I want to mix up between strikers and gunships and later on attack helicopters. You know, playing as African nation, it's inevitable to have helicopters because they are going to add more tactical firepower to your army. So here Mali has been totally destroyed. I only have some provinces here in Mauritania to take them down and later on I am going to go across the oceans and the seas and start my campaign and start my wars in other lands and in other regions and my region, my next region is going to be the Middle East but before that I started making the air bases level 1 and also the research of the gunships level 1 you see here that uh, the research is underway and of course, uh, we are going to start building the gunships as soon as possible because as I said in the first uh, episode that we have a lot of high ranked players in this map. So 100% they will start making sounds very quickly. And now I'm going to start my campaign on Syria. Egypt has started bombarding his coastal cities. He have a naval base level 3 Syria. So uh, it's going to be a joint attack. Uh, these this is our ranking, so Tier Congo is now the first one, I am the fourth, and uh, the uh, assault on Syria is underway. Egypt has bombarded the coastal cities and now I'm entering from land with heavy stacks of level 4 motorized infantry. I took down the city of Diyarbakir and straight going for the cities of Arraka and Dirizur. Here all of the conquered cities of Turkey in Europe has turned rogue and now I'm thinking about taking one city here to be able to build an air base. Later on when my strikers and gunships they are ready I'm going to start expanding in Europe. But before that I need to control the Middle East because we have a lot of nations there such as Syria, Iraq, Iran and Saudi Arabia. Egypt has started taking down Saudi Arabia and my task is to take down Syria and also Iraq. Why not later I will move to Iran. Now I have four level two strike fighters. Let's make now the gunships. The air base is level one, they are prepared and I'm going to go full on gunships. The good thing here that strikers, they consume electronics and components and the gunships, they consume electronics and supplies. It's quite a balanced build here between supplies and electronics that, uh, that makes my build a little bit uh, uh, balanced but I need to annex another electronic city because my consumption of the electronics is going to be so high this is why I maxed up my arms industry to level 5 so quickly in my uh, city of electronics we are only in day 11 and you can see that we are expanding so fast and the economy has been boosted so fast also but you need to um, I need to mention that this game is apocalypse for speed so you know apocalypse have a good and decent resources production. I'm going to make a build here for my gunships. 
as soon as this one is going to be ready another one will start automatically that's a good thing and a good perk about the security council membership Mauritania is stable and this is uh, Egypt has sent his uh, navy to Peru we noticed that Peru is uh, expanding so fast in Latin America he doesn't have no competition there as Brazil is inactive so Peru he uh, found himself free to roam all of the Latin America and of course if Peru grows so fast and becomes a threat the first thing he is going to think about is Africa and my west coast of Africa Mali he's going to enter from that so this is why we gave the order to Egypt to send his cruisers straight to bombard the coastal cities of Peru and lock him down inside his continent. So yeah, our naval guy is going to be uh, our naval guys are going to be Algeria and Egypt. Egypt with destroyers and cruisers, Algeria with frigates and attack submarines, and like that we will have a full build of navy. I will make uh, the strikers and gunships. Cameroon and the Air Congo they are going to make also air force and land armies. So this is how our uh, coalition is advancing so fast. Now, Algeria has started his European campaign from the door of the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain. So yeah, Algeria will go to Spain, later on move, the, move directly to France. We will try to enter from the Balkans and later on we will meet in the middle in Germany because Germany is also tough player very tough player and he is allied with Sweden and they are making a perfect coalition there in the center of Europe they are taking a lot of lands so we need to finish these wars very quickly and directly think about the European coalition there uh, Syria is uh, done only the capital now uh, we are going to take it Homs because he relocated it normally it is Damascus so I'm going to take the last provinces of Syria and later on move to Iraq and this is my stack of five, level five motorized inventory. I'm going to take the city of Sofia and build an air base there. It's very important to have uh, an alien uh, logistics in the Balkans. See there, Egypt already have the level three cruisers. So it's only day 13. We are boosting up our, uh, our build to be able to be ready to destroy anyone who appears in front of us in this game. We don't want to give no chance for our enemies to grow up. So this is why we are going aggressive, highly aggressive in this game. We want it to be a guaranteed win and we want to show you guys how to have a guaranteed win if you are struggling to have your first win. So yeah, surround yourself with uh, active players. I'm not going to say experienced or uh, professional players of Conflict of Nations. It's enough that they are uh, that they are active and willing to understand and willing to uh, learn the game. That's the most important thing. If he is experienced but inactive, you don't need him, to be honest. You don't need him. You only need an active player by your side that when you are sleeping or outside, he will defend you and he will have your back. I'm going to start uh, here preparing my troops on the border, on the Iraqi border, and start my assault later on. Turkey is done, Greece is done, Dear Congo is the first, I am the fifth here and you see that Germany and Sweden have leveled up so quickly, they climbed the rank very quickly because you see here that Sweden have taken Norway and uh, also Belarus, Germany took all of Poland and now uh, expanding through Ukraine, yes he's going straight to Ukraine. So yeah, Germany is going to have a very, very strong economy and he is going to be a problem for us. We need to be faster than them to close them up inside their continent to uh, prevent them from spreading. And here also Cameroon and uh, Dear Congo, they did an amazing job by taking down South uh, America. Egypt is sending some land units to the capital of Peru, that's nice. We need uh, an airbase there to send him support. His navy is doing uh, a tremendous work. And now it's time to start the invasion of Iraq. Syria is done, so now it's the time, yeah, this is how the invasion is done, but we are at the end of our second episode, see you guys in the third episode and we continue the assault on Iraq, bye bye.